let's see how we can set up the scoring and cutting operations using Lightburn. So I'm going to start by importing my file. So I'm going to go to File and then uh, Import. And I'm going to grab that SVG I got from Cuddle. And I have it here on the canvas. I'm going to zoom in a little bit to see what we're looking at. Lightburn assigns each color to a layer. Uh, and we can see the layers here on the right hand side. I can uh, show them and hide them. So I can show you that that's my score layer, the one with the blue. And I'm going to show you that this is my cut layer, the one with the red outlines. And here in the cuts and layers uh, menu, we can assign different speed and powers for each one of our different operations. And we can assign a different mode. Uh, Lightburn offers line, fill, and offset fill modes. And as you can see, there is not a difference between a score and a cut. When you're scoring or cutting in Lightburn, you would select the line mode. Uh, I'll show you what happens if you select the fill mode here in a moment. Uh, because the only difference between a score and a cut is that a score is like a cut, but a, at a higher speed or at a lower power. So we don't like pierce all the way through the material. So let's try to assign uh, different settings here. Let's start with the cut settings. So I'm going to select the uh, red layer here and then I can assign the speed and power uh, down here. I can say that, for example, the speed for a cut uh, could be something like 10 uh, millimeters a second. And then I want something like 45% power. So that would be my cut. And now for the score, I want something like, um, yeah, let's leave 100 millimeters a second. That is faster than the cut. And then I want the power to be about 15%. Uh, these are just suggestions. These might vary with uh, the materials that you're using and the machine that you're using, so it's up to you to experiment. But in general, uh, see that the score is you know, faster at, and at a lower power. You can also change the order of operations here in the Cuts and Layers menu. You can select the one that you want, then you can uh, go up or down. Um, so importantly, I want the scoring operation to go first before the cut. And when I'm happy with those settings, I can always use the preview uh, option to see how the cut is going to go. So I'm going to press play and see that, yes, the score is happening first. And then when it comes time to cut, uh, it's a little slower and uh, at a higher power. I'm just going to scroll down really fast to see how it goes. And that looks good. Here's something you might run into when using Lightburn. And that is uh, when you set one of these operations to the mode called fill, um, it that one is meant for doing an engraving operation on shapes that are fully closed. But in this case, uh, these lines aren't closed. They're just kind of solitary lines floating about. So if we try to preview this operation, we're going to get a dialogue that says something like, you know, 15 shapes were set to fill, but weren't closed. So they have been removed uh, because they would cause problems. So if I uh, accept that and say continue, you'll see that all my, my lines, the blue lines that I wanted to be a score have been removed. That doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the file. That just means we need to set up the right operation that Lightburn can understand. So I can always just go back and set it to line. And if I try that preview again, um, I have no trouble. I can see that it's doing my scoring. And then after that, it's going to do the cutting.